Are you tired of getting lost in your coding projects? Do your projects feel cluttered and hard to manage? Well, I wouldn't say I get lost, but I do find it challenging to navigate through lengthy sketches. Exactly. That's where the functionality of having multiple .no files in the Arduino IDE comes in. Hold on a second. Why would I need multiple files? It sounds like unnecessary complexity. Well, let me explain. By splitting your code into separate .no files, you can organize your project into logical modules. For example, one file could handle hardware setup, another could contain your custom functions, and another could focus on managing one type of sensor. I see your point, but wouldn't it be more difficult to manage? What if I have to search for a specific piece of code across multiple files? That's a valid concern, but with this method, you create the files based on grouped functionalities. So if you want to debug code that handles saving files to an SD card, you will know what file to inspect. And here's the beauty of it. During compilation, the Arduino IDE automatically combines all the .ino files in your sketch folder and treats them as a single sketch. So even though your code is split into multiple files for better organization, you don't have to worry about individually compiling and managing them. It's all seamlessly integrated. Hmm, I suppose that could make things more manageable. But what about the global namespace? Won't there be conflicts with shared variable names or function declarations? That is an excellent point. Yes, it's crucial to be mindful of potential naming conflicts. However, by adopting proper naming conventions and using local variables where possible, you can minimize the risk of conflicts. Fair enough. I can see how splitting the code into modular files can make it easier to work on specific sections without being overwhelmed by the entire sketch. Exactly. It's all about making your code more organized, easier to navigate, and simpler to maintain. I must admit, I like having separate modules that handle specific functions. It would undoubtedly improve code readability and significantly enhance future code maintenance. Absolutely. And here's another benefit. You can also leverage header files with the extension H to declare struct objects or constant variables that act as project configurations. By using header files, you can encapsulate configuration settings, constants, or even complex data structures, making it easier to modify and customize your project without diving deep into the code. That sounds practical. So I can define all my project settings and configurations in one place and simply include the header file wherever needed. You are absolutely correct. It enhances code modularity and allows you to maintain a centralized location for all your project-specific configurations. You're right. Whether it's a weather station, a robot, or an IoT device, the benefits of using multiple .no files and header files remain consistent. That's the spirit. So why not give it a try? Start utilizing the power of multiple .no files today and never get lost in your code again. I'm convinced it's time to organize my projects and make coding more enjoyable. Glad to hear that. Trust me, once you experience the benefits, you won't want to go back. Thank you everyone for watching this informative discussion. Please like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more informative content. As always, the narrations are AI voice impersonations of the original speakers, and they were chosen out of admiration and love for their talent and influential voice.